this is the Alright, so welcome back guys, Aaron here from Choose. Today, you've decided to tag along with us as we venture over to Terry's Food Therapy, located in Takarigua. We're going to spend some time today with Teresa and get to know more about her establishment as well as the range of products and services that she has to offer. And last but not least, some samples. So let's dive into it. Alright guys, so now we have Teresa Julian on set with us. So, Terry. Hi. All right, so Terry, tell us a bit more about yourself and how is it that you started Terry's Food Therapy? Well, um, I always enjoy cooking. Mm -hmm. You know, the pretend cooking shows in the kitchen while preparing food as young, uh, younger. Right. Um, I did a course with Whitehead, which was a basic cooking course. Mm -hmm. But that kind of introduced me to a lot more, kind of opened the world a bit. Okay. And um, uh, then a girlfriend, I think it was 2017, mm -hmm. um, mentioned while uh, I think I had cooked some pasta as usual and posted it. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you know, if you had some restaurant plates and you put the pasta on it and you posted it, it would be even better, you know, it would look more professional. And I started doing that, then I started selling the food, mm -hmm. then I started the blog, and things just kind of progressed where things would, more things would open gradually over time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I would start doing the plating a little bit more professionally, started selling the food, started trying different things, and it just kind of took off from there. Okay, great. Um, what would be the range of dishes that you offer? Well, what, what, what cuisine you more specialize in? I don't think I have. I call my um, type of cooking Caribbean eclectic mm -hmm. because I do the basics, which is the stuff that we are accustomed to doing. Right. But I try not to box myself in. I would take something like um, pancakes and add uh, saltfish to it and then do like a, bulge, a kind of tomato, bulgeol style thing on the side. Right. So I don't box myself in with regards to the things that I cook. I try to experiment as much as possible and as well as stick to the, the basic stuff. So I, I mix it up ever so often. Right, very, yeah. good. very good. So if it is you have to give us some of the dishes that are most popular amongst the customers, what would be some of those dishes? I would say the wings definitely is the most popular. I would have started off with just the basics. Um, barbecue, dipped, fried and dipped, mm -hmm. the bear battered, and then I started experimenting. I have a sorrel wings that is that people love. Okay. I have a barbecue gover that people again love. Mm -hmm. Pineapple, so um, that is probably the one that's most requested, along with the bacon shark. Mm -hmm. We recently began doing our vegan style bacon shark, which vegan. is basically like mushrooms. Um, that's kind of like gives the same meaty texture. Mm -hmm. um, the pasta is a big deal. Okay. But um, it varies because we offer different things at different times and normally different persons would order or the same persons would order. So it varies. Okay. Right, so Terry, what would be the future plans for Terry's food therapy? Well, I always tell people that I am um, not, again, boxing myself in. So mm -hmm. I like to try new things, right. see what the customers respond to the most. Um, we, had, we used to do um, meal plans. Uh, basically healthy meal plans for mm. you know persons who may not be able to cook from for most of the week be right. professional I would like to resume that because I have a lot of my customers asking when we will restart the meal plans um, currently I have a line of pepper sauce and dry rubs as well mm. that is something that we're trying to get on as many shelves as possible as soon as possible we also are trying to work on a line of vegan cheeses that we like to introduce as well so I'm um, just keeping the sales coming I have a website where I do my recipes I'm now I've now started uh, doing food videos as well to kind of mm -hmm. give people the visual aspect of doing the recipes and just offering as much as possible to see what sticks and then we will go with it from there. All right, so if there's the viewers would like to get in contact with you, where can we find you? Facebook, Instagram? Facebook, um, Terry's Food Therapy. Right. On Instagram, Terry's Food Therapy. Right. You all could um, also WhatsApp the number I will list the details uh, at the end of the video okay. right now I'm also working on a collaboration with two other entrepreneurs mm -hmm. um, one of them is a violinist cardiac strings the other she does the event setup she's an events coordinator she um, that would be uh, Tia Craig 
colon occasions by TC we actually do putting together a business a collaborated business um, called romantic gestures where we offer date night packages um, you can get three course meals you can get a really lovely date night setup or anniversaries birthdays depends on the occasion and you can also have live music as well so we will launch that at the end of uh, actually next week that is supposed to be launched so okay. that's another thing that you all can look out for all right great so that's it here for us at Terry's Food Therapy. Now we're looking to dive into the samples. All right, guys. So now I'm going to dive into the vegan bacon shark. So take a look at this. All right. Mm -hmm. Tasty. First time having vegan bacon shark, but I enjoyed it. It was lovely. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste exactly like shark, obviously, but it is pretty close. I do like the texture of it. It is very soft and it tastes lovely. I enjoy it. All right, the second dish is going to be creamy linguine with lobster bites. So. I'm going to eat lobster first. Right, enjoyable. It's very soft. It's not too greasy. Very tasty, actually. Right, I'm going to try some of the linguine. Right, the linguine al dente. I enjoyed it. Very soft, very creamy. Not greasy or anything, especially the lobster bite. It's not oily. I enjoy the texture of it. It's very tasty. All right, so Terry, before I dive into this dish, tell me what it is we have here. Okay, so we have a pan-seared pork chop. All right. I actually use my smoky rub on this one. Um, so it's just basically the rub, and then you sear the pork chops, and you allow it to cook for a bit. All right. We also have some potato wedges, um, and we have a butter lettuce salad. All right. So... Mm-hmm. I enjoy this. Pork is very soft, succulent, tasty. This is really, really good, actually. Mm -hmm. Like, really, really good. <laughs> okay, so Terry, tell me something. When is it that you'd normally prepare a dish like this, a special event or occasion? Yes, well, this, I would normally do this for, like, if I have a date night, um, which is something I normally do special menus for. Mm -hmm. So if I have, like, a date night or if I'm catering a small event, I would normally do something like this. All right, fair enough. And there you have it, guys. All right, guys, so that concludes today's video. I had a great time here over at Terry's Food Therapy. Sample some of the wonderful dishes that she had here. We hope you had as much fun watching this video as much as we did creating it. Feel free to like and share this video with others. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell so you keep abreast of what's taking place on our channel. Take a look at our other social media pages over on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Twitter. While you're at it, visit our website. And don't forget to download the Ultimate Catering app on the Google Play Store. Hit the links below.